Right then guys, welcome to the video. Now today we've got something a bit different, not something I've done before on the channel, but we have got all these lots that I won at auction. Now, I didn't go to the auction intending to buy, well, I didn't go at all because I sat on my computer watching it online. So they were holding a specialist toy sale that I entered a few lots into and I was just watching my own lots to see how well they did. But as a reseller, I couldn't help myself when I saw a bargain. So everything you see in front of you on the table cost me a total of £45, including VAT and their commission. And I've just pulled it out of my car and we're going to go through with it with you. So I've um, got my chest mount on. I'm hands free. I've not looked at any of this in detail. I've not opened these boxes or anything. I've got my little list of what I won. So we're going to go through this together and see what we picked up for £45. <clears throat> so, first up on the list we have a rosewood box with no fittings and that was £9. And I believe it's in this tray here. I used to like picking up these sort of fruitwood mahogany kind of... Um, boxes they can do quite well this one's got no internals <coughs> excuse me sometimes they're like a writing box or a writing slope sometimes they're tea caddies this one might have been a tea caddy or a little a little stationary box but I'll probably leave it as it is I'll probably polish it up nice little mother of pearl insert Nice hinges. So yeah. Nine pound on the hammer. Um couple of pound commission, so eleven, twelve pound in total. So I'm happy with that one. Uh next up we have a projector screen viewer and Sankyo projector three pounds. So a projector screen viewer. I'm guessing that's probably this thing. Ah, yes. So this is one of them machines, I believe, that you can do like a reel-to-reel -reel like that with your films and it slides under little screen and it projects it onto one of them big sort of roll up and down screens. <clears throat> Let's get this out and have a look. Paragon PE8 Jewel. Looks in good nick. Obviously I'll test that everything powers up and that. But yeah, I've had this kind of stuff before. Vintage sort of electricals and photography things. That should do alright. Not sure on the value off the top of my head, but maybe £25 or so. But I might be surprised, it might be a bit more. So that's the first item out of the lot. And the Sankyo projector will be this one at the back. So I'll move my 400 thimbles out the way. We'll come to them soon. <clears throat> right, what is this bad boy? Sankyo Sound 702 Magnetic 2-Track Sound Projector Super 8. Sounds intriguing. We have a power cable, which is a good start. Ooh. We have a reel. Move the box out of the way. This looks like a decent piece of kit. Now it's vintage, but look at it, it's immaculate. That is in good nick for its age. It's heavy. Zoom in there, thank you, sound 702. It's going to focus. 
It's even got the film on that uh, label still. There we go. Sankyo projector. I believe one of these arms folds out and the reel sits there and whatnot. Again, I'll test it powers on. I'll test that the bulb is working. Oh, sorry about that. Look at all the gobbins in there. I do like picking up electricals. Not that I know what I'm doing with them, but I enjoy dealing with them. But yeah, I think I'll be going to this auction a bit more. Three pounds for this and this with the commission and VAT. It's probably five, six pounds, so a few pound an item. Not sure again on the value of this one, but it's a decent piece of kit. If I do find any solds on eBay of any of this when I come to edit it, you will be seeing them on the screen now. But uh, yeah, it's currently about 5.45 in the morning. <clears throat> and I thought I'd just do this before I go to work. Because if you know me, I've got quite a busy life and I like to get up early and get on with what I need to do so that when I come home, I can spend some time with my family and things like that. So while well, mother and baby are still asleep, where can this go? How did they have it packaged in like that? Well, they had that on the top. Yeah, while well, they're still asleep, I can come and pack my orders and uh, film any videos I need and stuff like that. Never get it perfect. Right, I will move this on the floor so we've got some space. Just down there. And yeah, I'm in my work clothes, as you can see. But yeah, if I'm not working away and I'm just in our workshop, then yeah, I tend to get up quite early, pack any orders, do this kind of stuff, do some photographing, maybe head out a bit earlier and do some dumpster diving. And I've done all that before the day's even started, really. So, yes. Right, happy with that lot. Shall we move on? Next up, a Panasonic video camera, a radio two-way radios and a Sanyo video camera again three pounds so the next other items are books and thimbles so it must be everything in this tray sometimes they do a bit of a vague lot and sometimes they throw in some other bits that aren't selling and things like that so it's basically this tray here so let's empty some bits out and see what we're dealing with. So first up we've got this tripod, slick, slick cameraman, photo video tripod, nice vintage item, opens up and extends up. Um, yeah, I would estimate sort of 25 pounds or so on that one. So, for three pound with commission, say five pound for the whole box, we're into profit just for the first item. So yeah, I think I'll definitely be trying to find some more bargains at this auction. So we have got these. What on earth are these? Airband. Oh, these are radios for like the ships and planes and things like that, I believe. Steeple tone from seeing the little logos there on the top. Is this what the two way radios are? Possibly. But yeah, I have seen something like this before. You can tune into like the boating, you know, forecast and whatnot. One of them's got a battery cover missing, but that's fine. Yeah, I'll just test them with batteries. Not sure on value. 
maybe £25 for the pair if they're working. Again, if I see any solds, I will put them up. <clears throat> um, what else have we got? We have got these Hills SH400 stereo headphones. They look like they're the, the old ones with the massive jack, which are good. Oh, they're all wrapped up. They're wrapped up, but they seem to be falling apart. Ah. So, pros and cons with bidding on auctions blind. We might be able to do something with these. There might be a bit of a flop. It looks like maybe they weren't working. And someone's tried to take them apart but all these screws are probably missing but to be fair this item wasn't even described in the lot so it was a bonus anyway but yeah with all these lots I didn't view them obviously normal auction house you can go and view You can view the lots the day before or the morning of the auction, um, but I didn't view anything because I didn't intend on buying anything, so I was just bidding on stuff that took my fancy and that was going cheap, really, uh, just to take a chance. So I wasn't committing too much money, but I was having a bit of fun, picking up some new bits. But yeah, I don't even think I remember seeing that in the listing, so that's a bonus. Sell it for spares and repairs. But that is the pros and cons of buying on auction, um, especially blind if you've not, not viewed it. So what have we got here? Optimus. Let me change your zoom. I've got you on 0.5 and I've just put you on 1 so it focuses a bit better. Optimus AM FM stereo radio cassette recorder. So is it like one of them handheld? Do you put a cassette in it? Ah, yes. It's a bit grubby. That looks like sort of battery acid kind of stuff, even though the battery's here. Well, the battery compartment's very clean. So it might just need a clean up and a test. That's a cool item. That's probably ten fifteen pound if that's fully working, and I think that was just thrown in extra in the video camera bag. So let's have a look at this one. So this one is what they've described. This is the Sanyo uh, Sanyo video camera on the listing. So there we go. Sanyo VM EX five five. 0p change the zoom again yeah condition wise it's top notch nice vintage item but it looks hardly used again it's still got the film on here so someone's really looked after this Sanyo 8mm camcorder where the battery goes and look even storage compartment for the remote this looks like it's never even been used that's so clean doesn't even look like there's ever been a battery in there so we shouldn't have a problem with this one we'll still test it make sure it powers on and everything but yeah that's the camera in the bag what else have we got a little booklet I can feel something in the bottom. Hopefully it's some batteries and a charger. How do we get in here? Oh, that separates it. And we've got this little zippy bit here. 
Yes. So we have got some batteries, Sanyo battery pack. So that will fit in, in there where you've just seen. And then we've got a thicker battery, Cam Link. It's Panasonic Sanyo 6 volt. Hmm, I'll have to have a look whether that works with that camera. We have got the charger and we've got. Oh, we've got an extra wide lens. Which is a nice little bonus. Yeah, someone's really looked after all this. And we've got the video transfer cable. So yeah, very happy with that. It's all been looked after, it's all complete. It's in good condition. Comes with a bag, give it a test. Sanyo Hi-Fi Stereo, 8mm video camcorder so price wise on these I'm not too sure they can vary but shouldn't be a problem getting 30 40 pound for that maybe more okay moving on we have the other video camera move that out of the way which is the Panasonic now this case is a bit beat up and a bit Manky, so I probably won't keep the case. Let me just adjust you down. But let's take out everything that's in it. So here we go. We have the video camera itself, we've got a battery in there, we've got the microphone. Now, this is quite a common issue that the microphone muff starts to decay and that's what's happened to you. That's a very common issue with these and age. Panasonic MS70 VHSC movie camera with autofocus. Again, looks in good condition for its age. Nice screen on there. And we have this bit which will go on there. So we have batteries, um, but we don't have a charger or anything, so it's it's not fully complete. Let me see if I can open. You can tell I'm a bit out of practice, oh, it needs power to uh, to open. Yeah, you can tell I've not been to car boots and that for a while. I'm a bit out of practice with my electricals, but we'll get there. So yeah, Panasonic camera. Again, if I can test it and it's all right, maybe 25, 30 pound. Um, if I can't test it, maybe 20 quid, but sometimes you can be surprised at the models, so it needs looking up. And we have got this as the last item in this lot. Um, Waltham radio cassette recorder. It's got radio as well. It just needs a bit of a clean up. Waltham model W105. Battery compartment looks clean. Power cable it doesn't have, and I don't think I'll have one of them because it looks quite old. But I should be able to test it with batteries, give it a clean up, and again, maybe 20 to 30 pounds on that one. So for a three pound lot, not a bad investment at all. We will put these back in the tray. And take a look at the next lot and again it's some different kind of stock to to go on my store rather than just the uh, 
the usual stuff I'm dealing with. It's some ex more exciting items. Um, opens up all my, my shop to different people with different interests. Which is why I like selling everything because I've kind of got something for everyone. Um, we've got a library collection of vintage books which will come to last. And we've got a large collection of thimbles, approximately 400 which cost me £14, plus a bit of commission, so say 18 to £20. Yeah, 400 thimbles. So let's have a look at these. So I did a bit of research, I saw this lot was coming up, so I did a bit of research, and I saw that people were sort of selling job lots of random thimbles and getting about... 20 to 25 pounds per hundred so i saw that it was 400 so i instantly kind of thought well that's 100 pound on ebay in my head i kind of bid up to 20 pounds or so and got them for 14 so i'm hoping i do all right with these let's have a look at a few cheddar little mouse on there there's all sorts of different types grand canyon Arizona Pluto Disney one so I might be able to sort them out and um, find some little bundles but some royal ones William and Kate things like that April, so there might be the whole the whole year. Not that that's going to add um, much value up, but yeah, there's loads in here. Approximately 400, it said. What's this one? Horning, Broadland Village. So yeah, something I've not dealt with before. Thought I'd give it a go for the price. And we'll see how it goes. If I can give them a count up and I can make a multi-listing that's just like a random lot of 100 or 50 for £15 or 100 for £20 or something like that. Um, and yeah, just bag up 100 Obviously make sure they're packaged well. And we'll see how it goes. And if they do all right, then uh, I might consider looking out for them again. So a bit of a learning curve with that one. Not a lot invested but the chance to learn something new uh, with the thimbles. So the last lot is a library collection of vintage books. And this went for £5 plus commission and VAT. And we have got one, two, three, four boxes of books. No idea what they are, what they're about. But with a quantity of books and it was a fiver, again, I thought it was worth a shot because it only takes one rare vintage book to be worth something. So we'll have a bit of a look. The Roses of Ringwood, Emma Marshall. Interesting. We've got all these sort of little red ones. The Nelson Classics. Some more in there. The Battle of the Strong. So yeah, a lot of these little red ones seem to be from the same kind of collection. But it just takes one little old book like this and it could be worth a fortune. Look at the age in that. So yeah, that's the first box, and I might be able to sort out a bit of a set, find a collection, obviously like some of these would be gone individually. Um, no idea on values, vintage books isn't something I've done before. So again, for a £5 investment, it's a learning curve. Whether I'm going to buy more books, or whether I'm going to buy more at auction or not. Reader's Digest. Oh, these are all Reader's Digest. 
Not sure what they are worth. What's this one? Henry James, The Spoils of Poynton and Other Stories. Nelson. So a lot of them tend to be these Nelson books and Reader's Digest. Jane Austen. So research needed again. Third box. These look a bit more interesting. Some more little red ones. Some more Reader's Digest. It's these kind of ones that I want to research, the ones that stand out that are just a bit different. Look at the age of this. The book Common Prayer, Church of England. Interesting. That is box three. And we've got one more box. Watch my thimbles. Again, this cost me five pounds for everything. And this looks like it is full. It's definitely not full of punk indie rock. Uh, Reader's Digest. So I might find I've got a whole collection of Reader's Digest. And obviously if you've got the whole collection, it's better than selling individuals, so I might find that I've got a whole collection worth £50 or something. Um, but yeah, it needs some research. Again, any comps I'll put up on the screen so you can see of the type of stuff you've seen. And yeah, everything here with commission, like I said, and VAT cost me £45. So not a bad investment at all. I think I'll definitely be going back to the auction house. Um, and the stuff that I put in sold for a decent amount as well. So more than happy with that. It might be a new kind of sourcing place that I go to. Uh, they hold a couple of auctions every week. And the good thing is I'm all signed up so I can just sit at home on my computer. I can go to the view in the day before and then just bid at home. So yeah, that's my little auction video, guys. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. We'll see you soon.